the anti-undocumented immigrant fervor that has been seen in this country over the last couple of years has sown or fueled a resentment that has increased membership in hate groups, in neo-Nazi groups, in skinhead organizations. And we've known that in the past, but now it is documented. As such, in a place called Investigation Discovery, it's a documentary that aired last night and will again. Watch this clip. We were shopping, we had the kids with us, and we had our cart full of food. And I looked towards the front door of the store, and in came five of the Klansmen that I was undercover with. You need to take the kids and go. And so I told my wife, hey, you need to go. And it, she, she probably forgot our conversations, but she didn't want to. You know, it was a night out with the kids, and so we want to stay as a family. But Browning has no choice. He has to get away from them. So finally, I gave her the cart, and I just walked a different way. Did the clan see them? I hope not. Browning takes mental notes of the skinhead's tattoos. Many flash the numbers 14 and 88. The 14 stands for the 14 words for the, the skinhead movement, which is we must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. 88 stands for the 88 precepts, or laws, skins are supposed to live by. It also stands for the eighth letter of the alphabet, which is H, two H's, Heil Hitler. If Browning can remember a specific tattoo, he can later identify the skinhead, which may help with future criminal investigations. Absolutely chilling to watch that uh, develop, to see a man literally live uh, a second life. And that man, that uh, police officer from Mesa, Arizona, is good enough to join us. He's one of the few who's ever actually broken this code. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. We certainly appreciate it, Mr. Uh, Matt Browning. How are you? Good, thanks. There was a scene in there where you see them actually going after uh, Hispanic immigrants. Uh, who were they going after them? Why were they going after them? What fueled them? Uh, it's the, you know, that's a good question. It, it's a hatred, number one. They, they hate the people who come here. If you're not white, then in, in their view and their philosophy, if you're not white and you don't have a reason to, to support their cause, then they don't want you here. Um, they're going after the immigrants who are, who are undocumented. In the, in the segment last night, I talked about hunting trips where they go around, they'll just look for a group of whether they're immigrants or Hispanics or, or whatever they might be, and just out of their own hatred for uh, non-whites, they jump out of their cars and... Beat them with clubs and sticks. Brutally. Um, is this more prevalent now since the rhetoric got real heated over the last uh, year and a half or so? You know, believe it or not, this, this stuff has been going on for quite a while now. And it's just not in Arizona. It's happening in, in various states throughout the nation. Um, the, the links that these people have with each other are so, so tight. You know, I could have a skin in, in Mesa, Arizona, real close to a skin in, in Tampa, Florida, and they could be traveling back and forth and committing their crimes in different states. That scene in the supermarket where you told your wife and your kids, I got to get out of here, or I'm just going to walk away, and you had some kind of code with her, but it didn't seem to work because she was looking at you like you were crazy, and she didn't know what you had just seen. Uh, man, yeah. you, you lived that for how long? I, I work skin, I've, I've continued to work skinheads now, but I, I work skinheads in that manner for 10 plus years, 10 to 12 years. Um, do you think... I'm just thinking about this since we do so much political coverage on this hour. Do you think that uh, having a black president of the United States will mullify these folks or exacerbate their, their, their actions and their, and their hate? Well, I, I definitely don't want to put the word out there to anybody to, uh, um, we have a president, we need to support him. Um, but he has his Secret Service staff who are guarding him like they should. Um, this is definitely going to cause some more fire in the minds and in the hearts of these people. And it's not really the organizations, the skinheads. You have a lot of lone wolves out there who just sit in their house and they make bombs. They have uh, extensive amount of firearms, illegal and illegal. And uh, the things that they just, that motivates them, number one, he's a black president. Hmm. And, and they just, you know, 
in their in their views, you know, the blacks are just as bad as the Jews and the Mexicans. So it's just going to make them even angrier. Here's what oh, somebody's yeah. here's what somebody's commenting on as they're watching, listening to our conversation. Emory is watching. He says neo Nazis. The First Amendment gives them the right to free speech. They do not have the right to force though their ideology on people by threat of life and liberty. Matt Browning, he's talking about you, is a national hero. Um, it's interesting because when I watched your story last night, uh, I felt the same way, and it's hard to watch what you've done without feeling that way. And yet, and yet, toward the end, it sounds like there was a sour ending in all of this for no, you. No, what, 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 what happened there? There's no sour ending anywhere. Like I said, I, I continue to work these guys um, I, in, the, in the best ability I can. Uh, Did you get heat, though? Let, let me just be more direct. Were you getting some heat from people in Arizona for uh, going after these guys or for maybe saying something that may have uh, uh, cast them in a light that people didn't want to be cast as? Are people afraid to look at themselves? You know, there, I, there's people that don't like me. Let me put it that way. Um, I did my job. I was paid to do a job, and I did my job to the best of my ability. I continue to do my job. Now, if they don't, if they don't like whatever heat came on them, well, maybe they should look at themselves and, and figure out how they can get out of breaking the law or associating with organizations where, where it's okay to go beat up a, a Hispanic or black or Jew just because they'd rather spit at somebody because they're not the same color of themselves. I'll tell you, man, you're a brave guy. I, I, I watched that, and I think anybody else who watches it as well on uh, Investigation Discovery will come up with the same conclusion, uh, save perhaps a, a few who don't share our opinion about people different from them. Uh, Matt, thanks for being with us, sir. You bet.